Hey everyone, this is Puneet Kalra, that's my website www.puneetk.com and in this video I'm going to explain you how to use Sphinx 4 in Linux. I've done this video long ago on Windows and this time I'll be doing it on Linux. Uh, so first of all, that's the Sphinx 4 website and here I want you to go to download and choose the latest version that's beta 6 from here I want you to download both of them the binary and source both of them and I have already downloaded both of them and here's the files and extracted them and here's the folders so let's go to um, Eclipse create a new project let's need it um, and now why I have told you to download both of them so you can get the jar files from binary here's the jar files plus and source for demos from source path is the demo code all the demos are available in here so it will be easy for you to just load the jar files and copy source codes then using only source it will be really confusing for starters so I have created new project let's load the before loading jar files we need to extract JS API Java speech API you can see exe and sh file there's no jar file right now so we need to extract it mm. Here's the SH file. Let's see it. Giving it full permissions. Okay. As you can see, it's green now with full permissions. Let's run it. Okay. okay and it's done now we have jar file here but um, one thing uh, some people might face a problem in extracting uh, jar file JS API jar file then you you'll need uh, basically few dependencies that you can easily get from the error it depends on um, machine to machine so make sure you read the error and understand it and uh, install the required dependencies so let's um, give full permission to jar files sudo okay now I'm going to add those jar files to class path for now I'll be just adding these jar files these are acoustic models and Sphinx 4 and JS, JS API jar file this will work only on few basic examples let let me show you um, okay after adding these jar files go to source path SRC apps and copy this folder paste it see there are few packages with errors these are advanced one with tags specifically 
so we'll need uh, extra jar files for these but for like hello world example hello ngram and confidence you can use these only so let's load other jar files tags js patch mm. okay let's load all of them now um, as you can see all of them all of the examples are in their packages I don't want you to change these packages right now and I'll explain in a bit why we are keeping these packages mm -hmm. <coughs> that's hello world demo let's run it Okay, congrats, it's working. Yep. Now, if we have a look at the source code, okay, we are loading hello world config.xml file here, and then there's we are look, looking up for recognizer and microphone. There's no code for loading hello.gram here. Now, let's open config file and look for grammar part see now grammar name hello that's what we have and then source location resource edu cmu sphinx demo hello world so it's really hard hard coded here the path the location so if you just copy these files and run it it won't work it will give you error let me show you uh, okay I'm copying these three files pasting it now we have default package and I'm deleting this one okay see we got error here again same location grammar location now open config file you'll need to change this remove this part just leave it like this okay it's working again so you see my point it's the hard coded part in config file that 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 is really important you can't ignore this part this is the location this is the value from it uh, it loads the grammar file so if you change anything in pa uh, in packages it won't work and okay and this this thing is really important and really stupid from some of you know the emails i got from some people changing names or any word here won't affect the grammar file it won't recognize those those words so this is just a simple printl printl command it's just printing on console changing here will not affect the grammar file so you you need to change here change here then it then it will uh, recognize those words okay yeah that's it for now I'll be posting other queries, answer solutions for other queries from that I got from you guys. So, cheers.